All right, what is up guys back some more videos and in today's video Dexter Jackson now like I said in previous videos I'm doing this mainly to kind of keep up with the guys, you know There's nothing going on in bodybuilding right now. We have you know, I guess the half door Bjornsson and Eddie Hall fight That's not even bodybuilding. That's just kind of like strong man And it's a fight like you're getting into boxing at that point So in terms of bodybuilding news all we have to go off of is I just I guess updates of the guys in you know, I thought I would bring that content to you guys. So let's see what happens here. Uh, Dexter Jackson. So this guy actually recently got back in the gym. And uh, here he is right now, just like being 50 years old, like with some of the best arms and shoulders ever. Um, literally, yeah, they say, let me turn the volume down real quick. And I don't really want uh, too much of an echo. But I mean, as you can see, hmm, surprise the health size, eating like three meals a day with the gym being closed for months. Nah, bro. Like, imagine being up the gym for months and only eating like three meals a day and literally maintaining all of your size. I mean, maybe you can argue some fullness and some conditioning has been lost, but in terms of like pure muscle, I mean, bro, like everything is there. Like, this guy definitely has genetics for days. I hope he passes the genetics on to what would be a son. And I hope that son goes on to bodybuild because, goddamn, like the second coming of Dexter Jackson. That would be freaking nuts. It really would be. Um, you know what? Uh, Dexter did post this story. And, uh, you know, I'm not really a tribute channel. I'm not really one to put out those kind of stories where, you know, we talk about tragedies and what happens to people in their lives. But uh, this is a sad one. Uh, I don't want to get really deep into the details of it. But uh, Shad Gaspard, uh, former, or I think he might still be, well, he was a competitive uh, WWE professional wrestler and uh, unfortunately you know he passed uh, about a week ago so uh, very unfortunate news and Dexter here giving him an appropriate shout out you know uh, he's right when he says that this is literally the worst year ever I mean so many things has happened that's beyond negative I mean we have you know Kobe we have the virus we have you know uh, Luke Sandow I mean Shad Gaspar I'm, I'm sure there's a uh, quite a few other names that I'm not naming right now uh, the, the, those are just the ones off the top of my head right now. Uh, I don't know, man. Like, it's really a shit year, to be very honest with you guys. Um, but, I mean, you know, just saying, man, like, Dexter, you know, Dexter's a really classic guy, in my opinion. You know, um, obviously, you know, we talk about bodybuilders for their physique. You know, we talk about them in terms of how they look. You know, but in terms of actually having some kind of personality and some kind of like interesting elements behind you and some kind of character uh dex does bring it you know he does add a bit of humbleness in terms of you know showing some respect when it's deserved and you know he does update us quite a bit in terms of like you know what he's up to how he's looking uh he's pulling out the caveman beard right now uh none of us are getting to any barbershops anytime soon so this is how we all look uh obviously some of us without the gray but you know my man's 50 what are you gonna do here he is. I believe this might have been an 08 Olympia. Maybe, yeah, like Wednesday throwback 08. Damn, bro. Freaking, in just just look at it. Like, I don't even need to say anything. Like, it actually blows my mind that this was Dexter. You know, because back then in 08, we kind of looked at Dexter like, okay, like whatever. And then 09, like, if you go back and look at the 09 Olympia, you know, I really scratched my head as to how um, Branch Warren beat him. Like, how did Branch come second and beat Dexter? And Dexter wasn't even off or even far from this. He really wasn't in 09. Like, he was off, but an off Dexter is still a perfect bodybuilder. Like, you know, the freaking obliques in the lats just hanging there. The arms hanging on the lats. I mean, yeah, I mean, more quads would have been better. But, I mean, God damn, bro, pick him apart. Like, you can't really do it. You just can't do it. Freaking on point, bro. Here is, this is insane. Really freaking nuts transformation. Uh, Dexter from way, way back. I think he was, man, this is the 90s. Easy. Uh, 29 years and 100 pounds. 29 years ago and 100 pounds less. God damn. So I mind being here at 137 pounds. If you don't know, Dexter actually started as a bantam weight. Bantam weights, I believe, are under 140 or are like 145 or something. Uh, they're like the lightest of lightest in terms of like bodybuilding numbers. And uh, my mom went from a bantam weight, obviously, to a Mr. Olympia open. Now, 212 open in the span of 
um, I don't know, like this. Well, I think this is like current day numbers. So you'd have to deduct like what, 12 years, right? 12 years from this. So um, in terms of like him being this weight to like winning the Olympia. But uh, yeah, man, this is nuts. Like this is freaking insane. Like I'm, <laughs> you can see like the potential he maybe had, like maybe. I mean, he didn't really have enough muscle to like see stuff happening. Like his obliques just got so freaking peeled in detail when he actually got some muscle on there and condition. I mean, his legs got really separated. Like, you know, just, just stupid bodybuilding, man. Just really freaking dumb. Amazing freaking premium genetics. Look at this shit. Is this him? I think th this just looks like a really old guy. I mean, Dexter is 50 years old. God damn it. Of course, this is him. Damn, that looks nuts. Freaking nuts, bro. Two years ago, just a little posing practice. God damn, man. My mind is freaking like back for days, man. Carved out Christmas tree for days. Glutes for days, man. No calves, not even once, but I mean, you know, it's obvious you don't need calves to win bodybuilding shows. Like, I, I kind of wish you did. You know what I mean? Like, I'm I'm the kind of guy that I love completeness. I love a complete physique. Dexter, I mean, doesn't really have one because he doesn't have calves. Like, he doesn't have a complete physique. You know, he's missing a whole body part. He's missing calves. Now, I mean, people say... Based off of how the judges are, you really can't see the calves, so it doesn't matter. And they're not like a end-all, be-all, make-or-break-you body part. And they're not, I get it. But, I mean, you can't deny they don't look great. Like, you can't deny they don't look freaking amazing, man. I mean, goddamn. Anyway, so this is a crazy flashback. I have no idea what year this was. Um, It ain't always about how big you are, how tall you are in bodybuilding. Great conditioning and consistency plays a huge, huge part. That's very true. Uh, this might look like a... This might actually have been when he came second to Phil, I think, in, like, 2016 or 17. I think 16, right? Like, this this might look like that. Um, this definitely is in 08. Like, 08, he was for sure bigger, in my opinion. But this looks like when he might have came second to Phil. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, he doesn't actually say. I'm sure if I scroll down enough, I probably would see someone actually giving me the year here. But this does look like, I think it was 2016. Yeah. Like 2016, he came second to Phil. Big Rami came second 2017. Uh, Roden 118, Brandon 119. So, yeah, I think it was 16. So, yeah. Uh, anyways, just want to check up on Dexter, man. Looking freaking nuts as hell. Uh, keeping the updates. Here's uh, Dexter next to Sean. And um, I think Sean looks amazing. Uh, Sean is not really closed off here in the bicep department. But you can see, like, Dexter's with Dexter just looks like a bigger bodybuilder. He really does. But obviously, Sean was way out, way further in his career in comparison to Dexter. But um, anyways, guys, quick video to start. I drop a quick update in terms of what Dexter's doing. Uh, looking freaking nuts. Looking freaking insane, man. You know, I mean, maybe the quarantine kind of got him down a little bit. Uh, just a little bit. But I mean, come on now. Like, there's not really... Like, my mind hasn't been in the gym for days. Like, literal days at this point. So, I mean, you can't really knock the look right now. And uh, he's back. Like, he's going to... He's going to... You know come back like nothing i mean it's dexter like he's never off so anyways guys quick video hope you enjoyed it like you said i'll see you next time like share comment if not subscribe make it a thing sub to the boy hit the bell hit the button hit, hit everything hit everything yeah. like button just like i don't care everything um yeah i'll see you guys next time Bye -bye.